Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and um, I'm at a part in there where I want to talk about this new team that I put together. Uh, it was um, it was a team that I actually saw fairly often when doing PvP. Well, but um, let me before it before I continue on, um, let me, yeah. So I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Uh, this is gonna be called Shkemki. I forget the actual sunrise on the old kingdom so it's kind of a Arabian dungeon synth I guess you can call it and sorry for the bad picture quality I often say I often forget to say this about all my other uh, other albums but I'm using a new uh, a new media player called VLC um it it like I said it the the album art quality on this uh, media player is really bad but it's better than what I had on Windows Media Player, which it didn't even show the uh, album art at all. All it showed was a but just a black square. So, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and fire that up. So anyway, um, let's stop around a little bit here. Screen that. So, it's. It's my new Thunderboids build. But like I said, um, I see this team fairly often in PvP, so it kind of had me curious. Um, because usually either either I'm steamrolling these kind of teams or they're steamrolling me and I end up having to bail out of the battle almost immediately. I never really got a chance to actually see how this team works. Well, because this week... Um, the featured kingdom. Let me go ahead and uh, clear this out. Oh, and um, kind of, kind of getting ahead of myself. But the reason I'm making a video about this is because I'm trying to. This is gonna save me a whole lot of typing on my blog. So, so yeah, I'm trying to. So I'm, I'm gonna try to keep this short. But um, the big. Uh, the big kingdom focus this week is Suncrest, which um, which is where me uh, where the Thunderboids team came from. Yeah, Suncrest. Um, and then the class I got, Stormcaller. It's a pretty much a new class, so it's something I'm leveling up. As, at the same time, it's me uh, learning how this team works. Let me let me back up a bit. Um, that weapon you saw, uh, the Nimbus bow or whatever, it's practically a a once in a lifetime item that you can get in the uh, Soul Forge. Um, but for those that don't know, in this game here, I believe every week a different kingdom gets focused on. Like like I said, this week. The kingdom this week is uh, Suncrest. Next week it'll be to toss a name out there. It could be Darkstone. It could be next week's kingdom, and the week after that it could be Drifting Stands, etc., etc. So, and then one thing Suncrest is known for, as you can tell by the title, Areas of the Strix. Strix is a is a bird-like race. Um. In Final Fantasy terms, there's got to be a, there's got to be a, an aerial race. I, it's on the tip of my tongue. But yeah, anyway, going back to the Soul Forge, there's a, there's a, a pretty rare weapon that you can only get, say, if I was to toss a time period out there once every six months. So. Tricks. It's a Suncrest weapon. But anyway, back to the group. So, so finesse. I got three of these. You're dealing a uh, double skull damage against yellow enemies. That's why. Uh, and then, oh, I mean, and then reducing damage from skulls by 50%. 
That's why, unlike a lot of my other teams, where I usually have my hero character at the top, because he's the tank, he's actually toward the bottom, and Vanessa's going to be at the top. So, so, a little bit tanky. And then, the big one here, and as you probably noticed, I got three finesses on this team. So, give four to give four to all skills on all Strix allies when out, matching four or more gems. So, attack goes up, armor goes up, life goes up, and magic goes up, which, this purple number here, this is a variable number. It's it's based off the, uh, off the magic that you have, or the uh, magic that the uh, units have. The troops, I mean. So you're dealing damage to an enemy and another random enemy, so two for one. If that enemy uses yellow mana, um, this, is, this is an anti-yellow build, uh, you deal double damage. And if there's a storm, which will almost always be the case on all my teams, give six mana to other allies. I'll, in case I forget to say, during the actual uh, the actual uh, play demo, you're really gonna be clucking for four and five matches with this one. You want to grab them all, cause it's it's gonna boost up all their stats, and including my hero, cause the the uh, class I'm using, uh, Stormcaller, you become a Strix, so that includes yourself. Oh, and also, as a Stormcaller, I have that right now, but you're conjuring a light storm. For those that don't know what that means, it's uh, it causes yellow gems to fall more than other colors. His, his ability, um, dealing damage to an enemy, including himself, so... Boost ratio times six, you're adding an extra 24 damage to this, so. 62, I think, if my math is right. 62 damage to an enemy, and then you're creating a mix of 24 blue and yellow gems. Oh, and then there's this too. Dealing two damage to a random enemy. With the kind of content that I do, the two damage, it can add up but it ain't gonna add up to much. I could see me if I was doing like super low level content, this could probably factor in, but I'm, here, I'll, I'll explain as I go in. So, and then banner, talent banner, and then again, showed it on there, uh, the talents, which you don't want. You want it to be a light storm. So probably this here. They all start with 10% mana. Um, not sure on this one. I guess dust storm. But yeah, this is kind of a bad, bad tier here. Like I said, you don't want a dust storm. You actually want a light storm. Probably this one. Yeah, but again, this is kind of a kind of a bad tier here. Probably this one here. Then, if I ever make it down here, probably this here, so. And then, something else I noticed about this team, this team is kind of like the rock band team here that I made uh, some time ago. Because everybody on the team more or less does the same thing. Um, having positions switched around during battle is less of an issue. The, the Thunderboids team, same thing. Since I have three, three troops that that are exactly the same, 
having my position switched in battle is less of an issue. You know, it isn't like, say, something like this, for example, where everybody needs to stay put in their exact positions, otherwise it can really throw things off. So, nope, but, uh... Rock Band and my current focus, this team here, it's less of an issue. I guess it's a mom. Since this is the kingdom that I've been uh, attacking here, let's go ahead and do a play run. Oh, new mail. So. Um, you'll want to prioritize, uh, you want to prioritize green, then purple. Yeah, the big goal is to try to get this guy charged up, and then there's something else I forgot to mention about this, too. Whenever you cast this, it shows on the right, but it's going to silence the first enemy. It's also going to enchant you, meaning you're going to gain two mana in every turn, so... If you've got a big dry spell with the matches, at least you'll gain two mana every turn. And, and like I said before, it silences the uh, guy on the top, meaning he can't gain mana, nor can he cast spells. So, is, is it just me, or is that a bit loud? Uh, bit, music's a bit on the loud side. Let me turn it down a little bit. It's a little bit too quiet. Back to where I started. So, but like I said, you're really gonna be, you're really gonna be a clucker for these four and five matches. Cause again, with every one you get, your boost, you're giving up. Not four, not four, but twelve. Since I have three of these, you're giving twelve to all skills and all strict allies. So, like I said, we're really gonna be scrounging. For Search. Okay, there we go. That one's up. Uh, pick her, I guess. And on top of that, it just silenced the uh, guy on the top here. So well, let's go hunting. But, uh, what, uh, and also one kind of drawback, which is kind of part and parcel to the way this team works, I can't just, uh, unlike other teams, I can't just keep, uh, casting abilities, like, constantly quickly. I usually gotta wait for a puzzle hit to come up, in case I missed any four or five matches. I'm not a very observant person, especially when I'm in a hurry, so, and it's, it's happened far more than I'd like it to. Like, I'll cast my ability and, oops, my opponent found a poor match somewhere, so. But as you can see here, I'm dealing a lot more damage now than I used to. 86 damage, so. Like I just did there, I missed that one. Whoops. Oh, damn, three by three crit. Now we're all dealing 98. And again, on top of that too, all of our stats are going up. You know what? Hey, it worked. So, I think that'll do it. Yeah, now we're dealing 134 damage. But since Gargoyle's not gonna get um it's not gonna get one shot, I'm gonna go ahead and do this instead. Charge! 146. May not seem like a big increase, but bear in mind, all of our stats are being increased. 
So, yeah. 180, 201. So, this team is almost as good as that rock band team that I have. So, that should be enough. Nope. Uh, I think he has uh, spell defense. Yeah, spell armor. He'll be gone now. So, yeah. One more, and then um, I'll probably talk a little more about this team. But again, you're prioritizing green and purple matches, trying to get the Nimbus bow up. Didn't get my mana surge. Not at that time. again. There we go. So 50, 50 damage, now it's 62. Now it's 74. Now it's 86. 98. 110. Uh, yeah, so 134 here. That should be enough to take him out. But again, usually I find myself waiting, waiting for the puzzle hint to pop up, which usually takes a few seconds in case I missed any four or five matches. And then, I guess another kind of drawback, but this is it's nothing inherent, it's just my uh, Stormcaller level is only 7 right now. So, this is pretty much a brand new class that I'm leveling up, but you basically need the Stormcaller class to go along with this team. And then, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try a PvP match, but, uh, in my opinion, I don't think this team's ready for it. So, kind of against my better judgment, but I want to... I guess we could try this one. There's no hero. But, uh, Wolfgarok, he's... He's some pretty bad news. This don't help at all. No green or purple matches, which means I gotta make do with yellow. Nope, oh, that. Looks like this match might end before it even begins. Yeah, didn't get my mana surge. Yeah, not looking so good. Getting all the matches, and I'm getting none. Oh, 
Oh, look, those guys run away. That's, that's what these treasure gnomes do. It's a 30% chance to run away. Okay, so, but, yeah, I just wanted to do that quickie dicky demo on that new team I got, so, I'm um, just gonna go ahead and get that thing uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff, and just gonna keep going on my blog, so, yeah, it's almost like I, almost like I gotta make up for lost time here. My, uh, my window to post up my blog is between 5 to 6 p.m. It's 5 p.m. right now, so, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of time to work with. But anyway, um, thanks for all watching. Er or thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And then um, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.